Hello and welcome everybody. I'm Christian from Berlin. Hmm, part three of Easy Boogie Woogie. What is Easy Boogie Woogie? The range of what is Easy Boogie Woogie is really wide and it ranges from so easy it's ridiculous uh, an unborn can play this to so hard we are roughly here or in the middle or something and we make a jump to about here. What else? Sheet music. Yeah, of course there's sheet music. It's linked in the uh, in the text box. Also, there's a MIDI file on offer. Why? Because with a MIDI file you can transpose everything we did today to any key. That comes very handy sooner or later. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like for this. Helps me to grow. Well, I'm grown up already, uh, but helps my channel to grow. Let's go and learn it. Enjoy. We do a classic. Uh, you've probably seen this somewhere else. Um, I'm not the first one, but I do it a little bit better with the thing on G that you don't know yet, so you have a complete nice chorus. Okay, um, we, we have to learn these thirds. And there's an upbeat. And four and one. Just repeats, blah blah blah. You have to move a little bit. If if you can play this uh, and speed it up already, it sounds good. That's why the, it's a great little first chorus. Then it goes on for four um, uh, four uh, bars. Oh, now I have to play the four bars because I have to show it how we go to F. One. Second bar. Third bar. Fourth bar. F is coming and we anticipate already the F from the last C bar. Now, here. And four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Okay, so the it's always anticipated uh, the next uh, chord. And on F we have the same stuff. We have the uh, two upper notes from the basic triad, and here we have to play the B flat and the do and the D. You have to do that slow, otherwise they would they get all entangled and lumpy, clumpy, schwumpy. Yeah. Well, it becomes very important that you can separate these fingers when you speed up. Uh, uh, up, otherwise it would sound like yeah. They would never get you a gig, no friends. Good friends know if you're a good player, if you just played sloppily, and they will abandon you. <laughs> there we have. Okay, then we go to G. So we have this uh, C. First bar of G, and here I put something extra for you that others don't. A really nice thing on G that is original Albert Emmons, not quite original because I made it a little bit easier for you. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and a four. This I will repeat and then you have to scroll, we have to do a lot of content to do good for you. We come G and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and two four and one. Now, the better you get, the longer the figures become, the more you have to remember, okay? It's good trading. And since I'm such a nice guy, 
I repeat it a third time. Uh, here it's important that it's a very important, I didn't choose this by coincidence, like many things I choose just by random. I, I throw the dice, dices, but here, that is a very typical boogie line for you, you know? First the uh, syncopation on the four, four and one and two and three. We are circling the third, the third, the major third of G. You see, uh, there is a system. We want here target note and we go left, right, left, next step and we have it. This way you can remember it. It happens in boogie all the time. One and two and three. And now we have the sixth that you know already that we practiced in the first lesson. Yeah, so these first lessons actually have been very good because you in I introduced you to the third, sixth here going down uh, and a lot of stuff you know already. So one and two and three and a four and one and two and three. And here is where Albert Emmons does something different and I made it a little bit easier. So uh, one and he does, he does Here, play, here he plays just the, his usual thing that uh, like as many uh, notes thrown in. Uh, that's of course too hard for you, my little boogie babies. Boogie babies. That sounds nice. I keep that one, my little boogie babies. Okay, shall we go to the next one? Yes, we shall. The next one is again a yummy one. Sounds again like two trillion dollars and it costs you just practice time about one dollar worth. So uh, you heard it many times or elements of it. Uh, let's have a look what the uh, components are in slow. That's the first bit. The second bit is a little bit different. We have a look at the first bit first. Um, yeah, you, you remember this? Um, it's just the, it's called the C, C major triad. You might have seen it somewhere. Okay, as a triplet. Then uh, what I call the two five chain, like two five, because the two, uh, second finger and fifth finger, yeah, are doing the work, then one, Two five, see here we go again. Thumb. Two five again on E flat and A. Two five on B flat and E. You see, now you know why it's called two five. Two five uh, uh, business I named it. Two five on F sharp and C. Oh yes, here he is uh, giving me a hard time again. She loves boogie woogie. See what is going on all the time. And uh, so we were here. So F and then two five again on E flat and A and going down to a C. Now, I did something to it. Uh, very often, you've seen me play this already like that, ka da 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 And it's easy to play because of the finger setting. Yeah. That plays a big role if something is easy to play from the finger setting that you can speed it up. Now, let, let's have a look. Where are the triplets? And that's the all you have to remember. Da, 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 normal, triplets. Uh, yeah, Christian, that was just brilliant. One, two, three, regular. Now, triplets. Regular, regular, regular. You got it? Just remember where the triplets are. The triplets like dun dun dun. Okay. Regular. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Christian, give up your chichen, your, your moron. Regular. Triplets. And again, you see? Regular, 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 triplets. Regular. And you've got it. Hey, you've got it. And the great thing is, 
you can, uh, oh no, first, yeah, the second line is a little bit different, but just one note, just to show you that there's a great alternative. Same, beginning is the same. Now, instead of the E, you can also play the E flat. It has a bit more strange, rocky, bluesy sound all of a sudden, instead of the happier E here. Can you see? Second line was. Now with E flat. And you can play both, you can mix them. They are um, a brother and sister. Sometimes you should not mix them. Okay, so, and then it, you speed up and it sounds great. And the great thing is you can play this line over all uh, chords. You can make a full chorus from it if you want so. If you want on F like. Got that one? That's a good one. Next one. Okay, here's another contribution that I owe to my role as a teacher. Actually, if you go to Easy Boogie um, books, and I've scanned a lot of them, they do all sorts of stuff already. F in F, in A, in E, and they don't really care. And that's a bit too much, I find. But now in the third volume, uh, we'll um, play, I think, have two things in another key in G, stemming again from the great Albert Ammons. And it's, it's a great, great little lick that we can go uh, do through all um, chords with little, little deviations. Okay, let's do one, have a look. One and two and three and four and one. Let's have a look at this one. So we are in G now. Our thirds, it, yeah, this is the G, this is the G7 chord. Hey, that's not too new to you because you know it as the dominant of C. Okay, so there's only one chord new here and that's D7 for you, okay? And so this is, uh, you see how we, how the lick is circling around the, the G chord as it usually does in C. Please do G, please be a good student. I'm a good teacher, you be a good student. Don't just play C stuff, okay? So. One and two and three and four and one. And here you see our little thirds from G that are, have before here in C. Again, our preparation was worthwhile. Um, again, one and two and three and very important here the D, and now you have to somehow catch these thirds going down to G. Here you can do it with the with a third finger and fifth finger going down here. That would be like a role model for everybody else. But I've seen like uh, even Dr. John and whoever you name they they do it <laughs> they do it like this. So I do it. Uh, I think my favorite would be one and two and three and. Like something like this, four, four, two, four, two, and one, three, you know? <laughs> Same again. Now watch, now watch, we go to C. Uh, no, sorry, it has to, the first has to be an upbeat, so. One, and two, and three, and four, and first bar. We're going to see until here everything is the same absolutely the same and 
just here we go instead of here we go to the C7 chord which you know already one and two and three and four and one more C and we go back to like the beginning okay now watch this that's lovely isn't it same thing La uh, last bar of um, uh, 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 of G, uh, G before we go to D. One and two and three and four and one. You see, we go these two three thirds. One, two, three to the D seven notes. You know, D seven is this one, and we hit the tiger notes are the top notes, the A and the C which is the fifth of D and the minor seventh of D. Okay, again, one bar before we go to D. Mm. Now this one. And two and three and four and one. Very little to remember, just one lick and then uh, just these little differences from the chords and then you can speed it slightly up like doesn't that sound great come on if you can and so on let's move on Again, one more in uh, straight and also one more extra in C. I adapt a little bit, just a little bit from the regular, usually bad boogie boogie books who give you like a tiny bit on C, a tiny bit on E flat and then, then something in B. Um, but there is a point in um, giving you something a little bit more on C because there's more time to waste on C and you want probably more ideas on C than for G. Again, you can play it straight or shuffled but I thought, you know, for uh, for the change in sound, I do it straight. But you know, listen to this. Great and shuffle. Okay, but your choice. Look at this. Here we, you have the our seven dissolved, then our magic third here here. You know all this already. Also from my first uh, volumes. Okay, one and two and three and four yeah hey everything there's no new strange element now we're setting over now we're doing a little bit of the two five business i showed you before you know f two five figure two five Bop. two five on b flat you see and do, 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 here f sharp and c and then we go in this wonderful, we end in this groove. Uh, shall we do it again? One and two and three and four. And now it's over setting. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and <coughs> remember the second line is also a great pattern to accompany you know hear this area it's a very standard way to accompany uh like boogie blues blues rock You can't do this in F. It's not in the sheet music. Yeah, just the second line is a great pattern for accompaniment. Hope you like this one. Um, I know you do.
Now, the fe next thing is a true gem, G-E-M, not gem. And I stole this idea to, to include this from another easy boogie boogie book that is out of print anyway. And uh, I didn't steal it from there because he's stealing it from Albert Ammons. So we're both playing in a, com a complete Albert Ammons chorus and there's no copyright on Albert Ammons anymore. And uh, you know a couple of elements here and it's a complete chorus. So a lot of stuff for you to remember. Technically, you can play every little bit of it. And uh, we go from C, we could do the first C4, uh, the four C bars, the four C bars. And you know, you know this from the previous book. You are so pre well prepared now that you can play this. And um, I play the first couple of C bars. One and two and three and four and 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 one. Here we arrive on F. Now what is it doing? First it plays it um, once per bar, this figure, and then he plays it twice in a bar. This effect is um, intensifying the, um, the lick itself. And this, remember this, people, is a very um, typical element in uh, in uh, where boogie, in tango, or boogie woogie, like. It's done all the time. So here you have an example by the master himself, Albert Emmons. Um, and um, you learn the double thumb technique, so we have more reach. Okay, now we come to the... Um, uh, one F. One and two, uh, one and two, and three and four. And if you can already trill or tremolo while the uh, left hand is running, do it, otherwise you just leave it there like a stone. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Let's do the F bit. You have a lot of space in the beginning, but then it gets a little bit trickier. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four to and one. And this one I repeat once more for you. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four two and now. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and let's have a look what he's doing because it's coming uh, 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 back a little bit later. So one and two and three and four to and one and two and three and two four uh, one and two and three and two four and one we have again the circling of the target note target note is e look what he's doing here here coming from the right traffic lights from the left and then he's standing in the middle of the road. That's where we always want to be. Uh, so, uh, one and two and three and two, four and now. One and two and three and four and one. And that is a very melodious way to fall into the G. Yeah? So we uh, have the, uh, again, one and two and three and two, four and now, one and two and three and four and one. Then we are on G. Very typical. And here, the tone down, like Albert Emmons would play, play it like, um, uh, he would, we do this like one and two and three. And Albert Emmons would um, play more notes. And even this guy from the uh, Easy Boogie Piano, he took the, 
the hard way. So I'm really going soft on you. He, he played it like playing four notes on the offbeat, like he went. And that is not easy, boogie piano. So, yeah, we are still in the comfort zone. One, one, and two, and three, and a four, and one, and two, and three, and... You can remember this, the easiest is like... And then going up to the seven. Yeah, one, and two, and three, and four. Now comes the way back to uh, from G to C. Yeah, everything is playable for you, but you have to remember it. Yeah, that's the task now for the next level. So we have come again, first bar G, one and two top notes of the G7 chord. They are just repeated here. One and two and three and four and one and two <laughs> and one and two and three and four to and one. How can you remember this? We are in G. Again, the the uh, the major third is circled, surrounded. You see, this is uh, a pattern. If you remember the trick, you know, it's done a lot, circling the major uh, third. And you have to uh, see this from the C uh, perspective, then we have the minor third of C, although we are in G, I remember this always from the C perspective. <coughs> and what do we do? Again, attacking the major third. Yeah, and then... Oh, that's a wonderful piece of uh, boogie boogie um, already. So we are again in G. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four to and one and two. Circling. And one last time, G. One and two and three and four. Circling. Okay, we go to the next one. That's probably the, um, maybe the, uh, it's the hardest bit, especially to remember. <laughs> 